Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tanya from Party Things Rental and uh, I'm here again. Um, first of all, uh, I wanted to start with uh, thanking everybody for the great success of my last video. I really appreciate it guys. guys. I received many messages, um, a lot of pictures of people who've done their first balloon bouquet. All of you guys did great. Um, same thing with me. I am also uh, trying to do more bouquets and um, better myself. Uh, in the past couple of days, uh, I've been stuck in the house, just like all of you guys, just trying to see what we can do, practice, get ready for the upcoming events. Hopefully, we go back very soon. Um, I have this picture in the bag, just imagining I'm laying on the beach. But... Uh, <laughs> Uh, like I say, uh, thanks again for your support. Uh, thank you for all the new subscribers. I have more than 220 new subscribers for the past three days, which is so amazing. Um, which leads to me that uh, a lot of people are watching the videos. And I will try my best to continue doing videos and uh, show you how I do my work. Show you how I set up my balloons my candy bars uh today actually i'm gonna be showing you something that i really enjoy also this is doing a um, double draping so if you guys are into the event planning you like balloons any kind of decor uh please if you haven't subscribed yet uh do so i greatly appreciate it um and um please uh like and comment uh, if you have any questions I'll be very happy to help and answer any questions that you guys may have uh, that is about my backdrop. Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you what we're going to use today for the double draping. We're going to first start with the bases. These are called bases. I use them for all my backdrops. Um, you would need two of them today. We're going to do... Uh, approximately eight by eight backdrop because the room that i'm gonna do it is not too big so we're gonna need the two bases we're gonna need two legs and you're gonna need two crossbars these are the ones that we're gonna hang on the two legs two one is gonna be for the main drop and the second one is gonna be for the one that goes in the front I purchased this one maybe three years ago from a company called Georgia Expo. They have very professional uh, customer service and great quality items. Uh, basically anything that you may need for uh, draping, for anything for big events actually. They're a pretty big company. Okay, so their items are not too pricey. Um, they are pricey compared to what you can see on in Amazon, but uh, I think I pay for this set about four hundred dollars. But I never regret it because I rent my items also, and I summertime I rent them like every weekend. Every weekend they're out, and I never had problems with them. They're so sturdy and it's so worth it the money. I encourage you if if you're about to buy one get either this one or the ones from civil linen because they're very sturdy you won't regret that purchase don't buy the ones from amazon the like the photography ones because they break so easy once you put sequin backdrops on them they bend and they break so easy so even if you can use it just for for one event is not worth it you know this is like long long investment the next thing that we're gonna need are these two friends. So these are called valence hangers. I purchased these ones from uh, CV Linen. I think they're about seven to eight dollars each. So these are actually to connect the first pipe to the second one. That would actually give you the double draping. Um, next thing I'm gonna need is this mesh little they sell them in everywhere they sell them in michael's they sell them in civilians hobby lobby everywhere they sell them in rows so what i did i just uh, cut them the length that i needed for my backdrops and then we're gonna attach them once the backdrop is ready 
next thing i'm gonna need is my scissor i know a lot of people are wondering why you need a scissor for so i think the secret of doing beautiful backdrop is everything being even so scissor i'll explain you in a little bit <laughs> you need measurement tape seriously if you don't have one i don't know how you can do even backdrops because i measure all of my backdrops all the panels have to be even on both sides uh to look okay because if you don't see actually with a with your eyes if you look at it you're not gonna see it but if you take a picture you see on the picture if it's crooked or if it's smaller one side and the other one is bigger so always have a measurement tape you can buy this anyway hub a home depot hobby lobby anywhere another thing that i use is this very helpful also this wire i bought it from hobby lobby it's probably about three four dollars um i'm gonna tie the pipe the drapes first before i add the mesh because adding the mesh without messing up the drapes making it one side bigger than the other is like very hard so we're going to use this one first to tie them and then we're going to put the mesh another thing i'm going to need is my magic bag you cannot have a backdrop without this pin seriously like you need the pins and the last Sorry for taking so long of explaining you all this, but I think this is very important to make the right investment from the first time. And then you don't have to worry about anything else. So today I'm gonna do these three colors. I'm doing light pink, lavender, sequin silver, and white. The back of our backdrop is gonna be all white. These three, the pink, the, the lavender, and the white, they're all sheer um i buy my backdrops from cv linen mm, this pink one actually i bought the boat i bought um a hobo i bought last year for thanksgiving they had like really big discounts i bought the whole row for 160 dollars and i can maybe make i haven't used the whole thing yet i can maybe make like 15 drapes and if you try to buy they're $20 each. If you try to buy it, like it's so much more expensive if it's ready. Uh, the purple one, I don't remember where I bought the fabric from, but I also sew it myself. I try to sew all my drips. This way I can make them the size that I want. And I finish the sides, as you can see, because when you buy them, they're not finished. So if you put them in the laundry, like a lot of strings comes off and i don't like this you have to go and cut them and it's too much work like for example this one look at this these are both like i bought them from somewhere and look you see how they are they're not finished so if you put them in the laundry they're gonna break so i rather do it myself and the last one the sequin one this i also bought the fabric i saw it myself i thought myself how to sew so to start like with our backdrop we're gonna start by placing uh the bases from both sides of the room i'm having a really small room so i'm just gonna pull it's gonna be probably about eight high by eight white After that, we're going to get the two legs. Just goes on top. You just make it fit this, this way. Okay. Now we're going to get the crossbar. The first crossbar, we're going to just open it until it clicks. There is like a little bump that you will try to... Uh, to go up to there, we're gonna stretch it this much because the bigger one is not gonna fit in the room. So we just gonna hang it on one side and then just hang it on the other side. Okay, okay, now that we have our first crossbar uh, hooked to the legs, we're gonna start adding our white drapes. 
I have four white drapes that are sheer. That's going to be all our back of the backdrop. Okay, so next thing, we already have all the white drapes in the back. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add our second um, crossbar by adding first the, the valence hangers that I showed you guys earlier. Next we're going to add the second uh, crossbar. We already have extended to the same size. We're simply going to hook it to the first opening, the one that is to the front of the balance hanger. Okay, so we already have our second uh, crossbar. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding our second layer. Um, I have two silver sequins, two lavender, and two uh, pink drapes. We're gonna start by placing the two pink ones in the middle of our crossbar. Okay, so we now have the three colors on the second one. Um, they're okay, but they're not perfect now. <laughs> what we have to do next is just to make sure all the three colors have even um, width. Just uh, We're going to measure them right before we put them up. Uh, we're going to get our measurement tape. You can do the three of them even, or you can do the last one to be smaller it's really up to you just make sure if one lavender is let's say 15 inches the other lavender is also 15 and same thing with the pink ones if the pink one is 20 inches make sure the other pink is also 20 inches and make sure you have the middle of your backdrop so first we're going to measure the whole thing and then we're going to find out our middle Okay, so the whole length of it is 94 inches, so that's going to be, okay, so 47 inches we need to have on, on each side to, to meet them in the middle. So I'm going to measure 47 from one side. Okay, so the 47 is right here, guys, so I have to make sure this is my middle. I'm going to separate a little bit the two pink ones. just to see that that's my middle and I'm gonna measure the other side just to make sure the other one is also 47 okay so both are 47 that's perfect I'm gonna get my pins and I'm gonna make sure I hook the two pink ones in the middle just to keep them secure because when you start opening them um, you're gonna have a gap in the backdrop right in the middle so you have to connect them with the pins I'm gonna go a little bit behind them so you are not able to see the pin so 
So we have our middle figured out. This is our middle of the whole backdrop. Now what we're going to do, we're going to measure the two uh, backdrops that are on the side. Make sure you use the drape to cover the pole. I usually do this. Just hang it over and here you cover the drape. Guys, um, I know sometimes when you're in the rush, you're trying to fix the event so quick because maybe guests are coming. Now, make sure that your backdrop is even on top on both sides. Now, I'm going to get my wire that I showed you earlier. I'm going to cut little pieces, just enough uh, to wrap the drape and uh, kind of roll it around with the, the actual leg. Okay guys, so we now have uh, all the backdrop basically set up, um, now is the time for us to do the finished touches. I'm going to be adding this, I actually found some other color because I couldn't find the silver ones. Um, I found lavender ones, so I'm going to be adding them to the place where we connect them so we cannot see the wire. Actually, we're going to cover the wire. I'm going to start with the side ones first. Um, Look at the blink that I added. Little blink is never too much. It looks beautiful with the blink. I'm sorry for my light. I started filming when it was light, daylight. I had my my uh, shades open and now it's dark, so I just have the light. But um, this is basically how it looks. Now, this is what I usually do and I always, always at up lighting my husband is the one who set up the up lights i have some ready for you i didn't uh, show it to you in the introduction because i was not sure if, if i'm gonna uh, put them on but now that i have them ready i'm gonna add them and you will see the big difference the up lighting is giving you okay guys look i have the lights on now we added four up lighting it looks so much different with the lights than without the lights. It just brings so much elegance. Uh, my room lights are on, so I'm going to show you how it looks with the lights off. You can see the difference. Like I said, I do not set up the lights. I haven't learned yet how to do it. My husband set them up. But I can definitely uh, put a link below what kind of lights that we are using. Okay guys, this was it for today. This was my tutorial for how to do double draping. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like the design. Of course, if you have any questions, uh, if you want me to repeat anything, just please uh, put it in the comments below. You can support me by subscribing to my channel. I will do my best to uh, keep up with good content. Anything that you want to see, please let me know. And if I am able to do it, I'll um, do a tutorial on it. And I'll put it on my uh, channel. So thanks again guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.